Okay, so here's another um, sort of behind the scenes uh, video really. Uh, another one of those kind of ones that you probably don't see on a lot of farming channels. So basically in the summertime, um, there can be quite a problem with flies uh, and the cattle. The uh, flies always seem to be attracted to the cows, particularly around their face, uh, around the tail. Um, so what we do is we actually treat them with some sort of uh, insecticide that um, doesn't do any harm to the milk or the meat or anything but just repels the flies. Um, I'll just show you this little short video clip I made the other, well a couple of weeks ago when, it, when we were in the middle of the drought season when the um, flies were really particularly bad and this poor cow had them around her face. So have a look at this. So you can see that, um, obviously that's quite distressing for the cow um, and it's not very nice really. So what we do is we actually treat them with some stuff called Spot On. Then we just get the thing I use. Okay, so this isn't product placement or anything. I have paid for this ourselves. Um, and this stuff is about 90 quid uh, for this container. It's about a litre, but that will do the whole herd. Um, and it lasts about a month, I think, roughly. You can tell when it's it stopped working because the flies suddenly start getting back on the cow. Um, so all we do basically is, uh, I use this sort of thing, it's like a drenching gun really. Um, and I squirt that onto the cow's back. Um, now the dosage rate is on, this is set for the right dose. Um, I think it's five ml, um, but the, uh, I haven't got the instructions here, but I know it's set to what it was uh, last time. So all I do is I, when we normally do the whole herd when they come in for milking. Um, and then what I've got to do here is, uh, which I'm going to do now, is there's a few dry cows or cows with calves that aren't in the milking herd that are going to have to be done. Um, so I'm going to go and do one now. Whether I can film you doing this or not, but isn't, it depends on how well the cow behaves. But basically I aim this just over the top of the shoulder, just over the headline um, and this stuff's kind of oily based stuff and it's a, a dollar pit will last, land there and then it's sort of I don't know how it works it spreads through the coat okay and then eventually that will give protection from flies for about a month uh, so let's go and do it okay so I've got my gun primed and I'm just gonna squirt there we go and I'm gonna do this one as well so it's got quite a good range, so it's not too bad to um, do from a distance. Let's see if I can get the other one out, 710. Here we go. So these are the these cattle done. Um, let me just turn that over so I can see you. Okay, so. We've done the cattle now, these three down here. Um, like I said, we do the herd all in one go, um, but the old ones I sort of pick around and do later on. Uh, be interested to know, this is spot on. Be interested to know if any of you farmers are watching what you use on your cattle and how you find this success rate. Uh, I think we've tried a few different things in the past. This one seems to work okay for us. Like I said, I'm not promoting this, it's just what we use. Um, but uh, I'd be interested to know if anyone else uses anything on their cattle. Uh, I think you can get this for uh, for pets as well, I'm not sure. Uh, hmm. Okay, right. It says for uh, troll ticks, lice, keds and established blowfly strike. And I have no idea what keds are. Okay, and on lambs. Oh no, that's for sheep. Gosh. I'm not sure what keds are in sheep. Uh, it says for lambs and for cattle. And can use for... Uh, using dairy cut for reducing milk. This is a very important thing. You mustn't use anything on cows that will affect the milk. Um, so when we use antibiotics or anything, we have to discard milk. Um, but if we use it because it affects the milk, it can be found in the milk. Uh, this is safe to use because it doesn't enter any of the body. Um, but like I said, be interested to hear what other people use. Anyway, onwards and upwards, cheers.